Hello there, I'm Sean Greasley and welcome to this tutorial on reports within SQL. This is the final tutorial within the SQL series. Hopefully there may be more upcoming, but it's the final for this session. Uh, and I'd like to discuss uh, a little detail on reports. Not all, but um, just a little. Uh, these features contained here will uh, generate your average report. You can find out information about departments or anything, any data you have within your database. So let's have a look at a few statements on how to create something like this. Now, there are two different commands I'd like to look at. One being break, one being compute. Now, what break does it um, tells SQL where to break. These are noticed by these stars here. We're saying break on the report, so on the report, on D name, skip to. So this is saying skip two lines, as you can see, two lines, on the change of every D name. So when accounting changes to research, skip two lines. When research changes to sales, skip two lines, and etc. So this is what break does. It breaks your reports. It's more of an aesthetical appearance rather than a more modular command. Now the compute command actually goes into a bit more detail on how it's displayed. So we're saying compute sum of cell on D name. This is saying get a total, uh, which is the sum, of the salary on every change of the department name. It's kind of like this, but we're getting a sum of the salary. So we're calculating a sum of the salary on changes of D name. So on changes of D name, you notice we've got a sum. And these sums here is the total of all the salaries within each department. So in the research department the total is 7,900. So as a manager you could look at this report and saying which department's getting paid the most. So sales is getting 9 grand uh, for 6 employees whereas research is getting near enough 8 grand for 4 employees. Do we want to increase or decrease this? So it's more of a department overlook. And the second line, uh, calculate a sum of the salary on report. On report means once only, because there's one report, therefore there's one value, which is here. Compute the sum, which adds up all the salaries. So 26 grand is getting paid out in salaries every interval, maybe a week or month. Once all the calculations have taken place, you then need to tell SQL and the report where this information is coming from. So we're using D name. So far, we're using cell. So we're going to probably need D name and cell in here for this to make sense. Then extra information. We want to know who it is, I guess, and what job they have. So I see select statement from where these fields are coming from. Form your relationship if necessary. Uh, we're linking our empt to the depth uh, tables. We discovered this in outer joins. Refer to this to see how this is set up, including the null values. So king is present. And the final one, order by D name and cell descendingly. So we're ordering by D name, as, as you can see, accounting, then if we have the same department, then salary. So, um, order by, it's actually required within reports to confer to these commands here, the compute commands, because we're using a calculation of the sum on the salary, on the D name. So all the values within the compute commands should go in the order by to make sense of what you say. So order by the department name, then by the salary descendingly. As you can see, we have 3,000, 3,000, 3,000. It gradually gets lower, as you can see. Same with the D name. Otherwise, your report may not make much sense. So, order by is more or less required. So, you, you can maybe change things in here. Skip 4 every time. 
or as you can see uh, you can maybe compute the sum of the uh, commission and salary so that will be compute the sum of the wage and remember wage is salary plus commission remember commission contains null values so we have to refer to our NVL statement to replace null values by the value of zero and we can call this wage so we're computing the sum of the wage every time and our final wage at the end then we want to sort by the wage and all that does it replaces salary by the wage which includes commission so this is your basic report it can be modified and improved using new commands and various other concepts within SQL so I'm Sean Greasley I hope you enjoyed the first collection of the whole SQL series on SeanGreasley.com I've been Sean Greasley it's been a pleasure uh, teaching and it's been also been a learning experience for me teaching SQL to people who find databases interesting or maybe struggling with uni work and wish to discover new concepts and maybe revise for exams so I hope you like my website please look at other tutorials uh, and good night really so I'm Sean Grizzly. thank you very much <laughs>